What comes to your mind when I mention the Himalayas? Tall mountain peaks, valleys with white snow, lush green terrains. But what if you were told that huge piles of waste have made the Himalayas resemble a huge rubbish dump? Who is saying this and why? Our next report tells you. Mountaineers have turned the Himalayas into a gigantic rubbish bin. This is not something that we are saying. These are the words of conservationists who are on a mission to clean up the mountain range. Of course, the fact that there is a need to clean up the Himalayas is alarming enough. What's more alarming is the extent of the problem. Footage was released from one such cleaning expedition where team members can be seen trudging through heaps of waste, including plastic bottles, sanitation pads and abandoned tents. Around 45% of this waste was plastic waste. The waste, according to observers, is a byproduct of what is known as the expedition culture. The very culture that promotes mountaineering-related activities and include activities like traditional outdoor climbing, skiing and traversing. Further, these activities give travellers a basic understanding of the culture, customs, behaviour and etiquettes of a particular country or region. There is a rise in the expedition trend, which is now having a detrimental impact on those living in and around the mountains. This time alone, this mission cleared out 3.7 tonnes of waste of Makalu and Annapurna. Makalu is the world's fifth highest mountain summit and Annapurna is the tenth highest. There are several such missions across the globe and their aim is to keep the Himalayas clean. If these conservationists are to be believed, the situation is appalling. They say one can find lots of oxygen bottles, tins, canvas and shoes behind the rocks. And an increasing amount of garbage is particularly piling up at Mount Everest. Mount Everest is located in the Mahalangur Himalayas. It is the highest mountain peak in the world and hence it attracts the highest number of climbers. Nearly 600 people climb the Everest every year. So one can only imagine the amount of waste that is dumped in the Himalayas. Multiple attempts are being made to get this situation under control. One that grabbed worldwide attention was Nepal's garbage deposit scheme in 2014. Nepalese authorities introduced a law which required climbers to leave a garbage deposit prior to their ascents. The fee was 528,000 Nepalese rupees or 3,028 pounds for Mount Everest and 396,300 Nepalese rupees or 2,428 pounds for other summits higher than 26,250 feet. According to this scheme, if climbers bring down the 8 kg of waste they produce, the money is refunded. However, critics have argued that the scheme is ineffective and it has not accomplished the desired objectives in waste management. The primary reason of this failure is believed to be a low level of acceptance among stakeholders and of government support too. The issue of pollution in the Himalayas is becoming so severe that it was featured in a Netflix documentary called 14 Peaks Nothing Is Impossible in 2021. This documentary highlighted the need to clean every peak higher than 8,000 meters and helped raise awareness about the issue of pollution in the Himalayas. In fact, amid the mounting of problems that Himalayas are facing, human feces is adding to the waste too. Climbers are also throwing waste into glaciers and it is believed that this waste would re-emerge from the glaciers in 200 years, thus putting our present and future both at stake. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.